African burial ground when they're using craniology. Oh, no, 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 That's no, not correct. what I'm no, saying, no, no, no. brother. I'm down. I got you. You right. You like, got damn. You right. I got you. Like y'all, y'all stay doing that. Like you trying to mix up what somebody right. saying. So let me ask you something. You said that you hold on. You act like well, come on now, fam. Calm down, that, my you you said, said, you said, you said, said, do that shit on purpose every time, bro. Uh, so you, so you, so you said that they use craniology uh, on the skulls and the alpheal burial ground, right? Yeah. How did they know that these people was niggas? Well, they did. They did the dental. They did the, the craniology. They did nah. the DNA. Uh, oh, hold on, you. hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you, thank you. There you go. Thank oh you. I God. just, I, I, I just said that you know that you know you with the dental, bro. What are you saying? They what? didn't even have DNA. They didn't even have that form of DNA search and shit back then when they classified them as African. Bro, bro. yes, they could. They could find no, half groups. I can show you the research paper right now. You want to see? Bro, it? that shit, that shit came right, about the fact. Hold on, hold on. Look, bro. No, no, I'm no, not saying. Rick Kittles is on the on Damn, bro. Hold on. I'm not saying that that research did not come available. What I'm saying is, is that they gave them a racial classification before that form of method of science was available. So even before they did the dental, no. they already gave them a racial population before no. that dental research, bro. No, no, no. All right, my nigga. When did DNA no. study start? This hold is on. An, uh, when did old, DNA? Old. Hold on. Well, yeah, when, when, when did DNA old. study start? Yeah, listen. They start, they start All I got is one question. Just give me the date. Nineties in the nineties in the nineties. This is this paper right. from. Okay, from so when? So when? So when? So when did that burial ground get classified as a Negro burial ground? As soon as it got motherfucking looked at, so they weren't using the methodology. No. They were about, bro. First of all, stop, stop, stop. It was classified a Negro burial ground on the maps, the old maps from uh, the New Amsterdam. So uh, when it became New York, like what are you talking about? It, on the map, bro, they did that. What did they did? Hey, look, it's one thing to say you find something of a map, but it's a methodology that you got to use when Hold you on. find something. I'm, to I told that you, brother, brother, brother. So what? What, what, what are you did, trying how, to say how, is the how, problem? All right, so so this is what I'm saying, bro. You said they based it off the map, right? And what I'm saying is to confirm yeah. that what they're saying. Uh, Damn, bro, you didn't no, the no, because the question was, you no, the question that. was, let them get it hold out, on, man. the question, you, you won't no, even let me get it out, my nigga. I get you know where I'm going. Let me say what the question was, because y'all always right, confusing so, everything. No, the question was, when was it called Negro? That's what it was. That that was the question, and I said right, it was right. called Negro on maps. Right, That's right. Okay, so said. what? So what I'm saying is this right here. I gave you that, bro. I'm not arguing that part. This is what I'm saying. They got a map that talk about Negro burial site, I guess, or whatever. Once they come across a find, they have to use a form of methodology to confirm that it's exactly what they found on the map. So before they can automatically say that this is that shit that they talk about on the map, they had to use a methodology to confirm that what they found is actually what that map is saying. And the found and the method that they used was cranny ology to confirm that this was an actual negro burial ground and they confirmed that with that methodology before the whole tooth enamel dna dna analysis was even about because they confirmed that they was negroes guess what in the 80s and the 90s bro guess when dna analysis start in the 90s it was in its baby infant stage in the 90s my dude they didn't even have that method available in the 90s bro that shit didn't come about um, until the late 90s early 2000s are you done? so yeah yeah i'm so done. i don't i don't know why two did all that they knew they was negroes because they was in the same place on the map with it what it said the negro burial ground was it wasn't hard for them to figure out that they was negroes i don't get what he said all that shit for that shit doesn't make no sense what, right, nah, but, what, oh no i'm not done I don't. I guess what he what he's trying to lose. I thought you asked me a question, my bro. That's why I cut you. That's my nah, bad. it's all good. good. Well, I I guess what he's trying to allude to is that the African part. So so they keep sucking on Negro. It's been called Negro. They've been they was Negro. So the African part came with the uh the the DNA and the and the and the uh and the cranial metrics. Right. All right. So why would they need to do 
a DNA to confirm they African if Negro if all Negroes is African and they already knew they was Negroes. Oh, well, because the they, they, they should they should already know they was African. It's all Negroes. Oh, no. Is African. no, it's not about just African. <laughs> so the people involved, they, you know, they're they they're all Black Americans. They're all descendants of Africans, and they want to know exactly where, exactly where. That, that's why. So they did I, further research to pinpoint and found I, out that most of these people was from Ghana. All right, so look, bro. There has been a story about a ship called Colita, right? Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, allegedly, they found the remains of the ship Colita, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Before they could confirm that this was actually the ship, even though they got the story and it's in the same area, before they could confirm that this is the actual motherfucking ship, what did they have to do? What did they have to do before in order to confirm that this was the actual ship? To confirm it, they had to see it. So they did. They dove down to see it. But uh, what what led them to believe it before they actually seen it was they uh, knew of the story from the people who right. lived. But they could. And, uh, but who, but who, even, who with, from even that with ship. the story, right? But even with the story, they can 100% confirm that, right? Can 100% confirm that it was the ship? Yeah. They found the ship in that area, and even though they had a story, they still can 100% confirm it off that story, right? They had to, they had to do the method of testing before they could say that, right? Well, I don't know exactly how they come up to the pinpoint that it was that ship. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, that, I don't know. Uh, they say it's that shit. I, what, I'm more concerned with the people that that, that was in Africa to him. Uh, you know, like uh, Quest Love, he say um, his, one of his ancestors come from off of that shit, Cujo Lewis. Uh, so what about the people? Fuck the shit. The fact of the matter is, is that there are a lot of sunken ships and all waterways, not only around America, but around the world. And there are stories of famous alleged ships that has a narrative and a story behind it. So just because they find a random ship in the area, they're going to suggest that they think they might find it. But we have to do some testing up on it to confirm it. So look, I, I, these are the... Uh, I don't think they oh, did testing. I think they went by word of mouth. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was somebody named Henson. Henson. I, I don't remember the first name. But somebody named Henson was saying that their great-grandparents was, was um two of the people that was, like, kidnapped and brought over from West Africa that was on supposedly on the ship. And they was, like, they ended up being, like, some of the first people to found Africa town. So I think that they were going by word of mouth or they maybe they knew because they said the CIA did like, you know, research on it. So I think it was more word of mouth first. Yeah. So real quick, screen. on the screen. Oh, on. Now go ahead. Go ahead. Now, Quincy, if you want to finish, I got to I want to get to y'all question. I want y'all. No, I just want to say this, this is I just want to show you this is the New York African burial ground. Uh, so these are the, all the skulls that they compared. The, so they compared the skulls they found in the New York African burial ground to skulls they had. Uh, other places like in Europe, West Africa, Central Africa, South Africa, East Asia, and North American population. So they compare the skulls to a wide range of people, but uh, I just want to point that out. So yeah, when we get to the results, since nobody's saying that, it says, it says, since the greater portion of Western Central African crania are clustered closely, they are not distinguished. Most New York African burial ground crania are clearly primarily Central and West African, although four to five individuals are within the range of South Africa. Right? Uh, the Native American component of the New York African burial ground sample could not be definitively confirmed. In fact, only one individual was close to a Native American. And both these individuals in overlapping ranges with Europeans. This is what I was talking about. How you can't do that. That skull, oh, this is a white skull, this is a black skull, because you're gonna have people that overlap. This is what I was trying to talk about earlier, but 
the, we, we see that these people are from uh, in the New York African Burrows, uh, Western Central Africa. And they pinpoint a little bit more. Um, Listen, bro. I don't give a damn. You talking about a? I know now. Craniology don't work. They confirm, don't they work confirm that motherfucker to a to a Native American skull. Of course, it's not gonna come back as no damn. New they compared it, but they compared the skull to a lot of places. They, when they say they Native say, American, they talking mongoloid skull at that particular time. That's cool, but that's cool. But the, the people that they said yeah, the same way to, to who was a Negro, we're talking about Indians at that time. When we get into the artifacts, the artifacts that was found there is classified as Indian artifacts. Look. It says the New York Cranian nearest series from the Khan speaking the Shanti uh, and Gold Coast series of, uh, oh, I forget what that is, which is in the modern nation of Ghana. Ghana, I told you, that's what they're saying. Most of the people in the New York African burial ground come from compared to the cranial metrics. The cranial metrics, like y'all was just talking about. Now it don't work though. No, I didn't say it that's don't what work. I said. Oh, no, I said they y'all say that they're African. Like, Yes, it does. I'm showing you the paper where it says so it. So the craniology says it's African. Yes, I t I showed you that, brother. That ain't even. That's what I think I was reading in the last two weeks. I read. Man, that's an insert. That 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 the craniology comes like the Negroid, man. Y'all put African on there, man. That ain't even a classification in the scientific. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that and that's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, when yeah, it, when yeah, it's called, yeah. when, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, when it's called, yeah, when it's what they doing, right? Hold on, no, no I mean, doing. I mean, bro, you just gotta let a nigga talk, bro. I'm yeah, just you just did all that pseudo shit, man. So no, look, bro. Hey, when they had the classification. Nah, y'all ain't letting them finish the. Y'all ain't letting them land. No, 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 hold on, no, Scott. No, no, what you mean? We just let them speak for six no, minutes. Bro. I landed. I landed. I don't do like, 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 like we ain't like we ain't bro. Bro, don't do that. Bro, that's the ground. No shit right there. Let them land and then digest what he said. He just said he landed, bro. He just said he landed, bro. We going straight in. He, he said he landed. As soon as I get two words out, he cut me off. And you talking about he didn't land it? Come on, man. Let's not do that. That pseudo shit they be doing. Hey, so look, right? When Listen, it, when I'm it, just, when, when it, just, I just got my referee shirt on right now. Relax. Like, uh, it's all good, man. You got some pom poms with you too. It's cool. Hey, but look, <laughs> hey, when it was Negro, when the classification was Negro with a median. You feel me? And it still got that median, even with his new name classification. When it was Negro, it was called racist. But now that they call it African, it ain't fucking racist no more. And once again, that's that pseudo shit trying to lump all niggas around the world up under this one racial uh, ca uh, category, even though it's a different median range for different niggas. Australia, Australia motherfuckers got a different median range up under Negro uh uh, skull shape. The uh, the, the South Pacific niggas, the niggas they found in America, the niggas they found in Africa, and the niggas that they found in Europe. That's how they know that nigga from Europe that they found was a fucking Negroid because of the cranial measurements. At the end of the fucking day. Listen, so, we're gonna move on from the from this conversation if you're done, because I wanna I wanna kind of transition a little bit. No, nah, it's so. good, bro. Shout out to everybody. This is a good conversation, man. Yeah, you better transition from that. No, you know, yeah, I, I like, like you, my nigga. Like a bunch of pseudo. Listen, first of all, you're talking about the facts remain. They, they no scientists, no anthropologists. Who what anthropologist said it was an African skull? Give me that. That's what I do. Go back to this article and show me the the motherfucker. Uh, the, there's credit to saying that's an African skull. Go ahead. I need to see the anthropologist that's on here. That said. Go ahead. That African shit did not come into play until after Rick Kittles and Howard University took over. Period. Did I see a Shanti on there? I think I seen a Shanti on there. Yeah, he did say that. When Rick Kittles them took over at the baby stage of DNA and shit automatically gave it a link. I bet you run that shit through. No, 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 no. Go back up to that. Not Wait, so that. truth, you uh, saying that they was just he, you, you saying that they was just guessing? Where, the, where these things was from? I mean, a lot of this motherfucking DNA shit is based on fucking speculation, bro. Rick Kittle, which one shit. is the which one is the anthropologist? Like, cause these dudes are like journalists and shit. Journalists, you bugging? How dare you? 
So look, you got uh, so here we go. Uh, she's the director of uh, currently exploring the anthropology of genomics of uh, so she's the Department of Biology, but she's in she does anthropology. Right. Um, she got the University of Chapel Hill. Okay. Okay. Department of Anthropology. University of Maryland Department of Anthropology. So. And they, like I said, everybody in the studies of Black Americans. Mm. And they right, all of them. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So yeah, we already know that this CIA funded right here. Yeah, when Black people do it, it's a problem. Yeah, no, no, because it's Pacific. They Pacific yeah. Black people yeah. in these universities, bro, is Africana and uh, anthropology studies uh, funded by the Crazy. CIA, bro. That's literal it's fact, crazy. bro. I pulled up the source. Well, look, I just want to see. Talking about, look, they were talking about the cranial metrics. I show them. They, they yeah, going I know so they hard bet they is. They going to say everything going so hard for it. CIA, they bro. They going so hard for it until I show them a study that's They use Africa particularly. No, I mean, I mean, but not a coincidence. We were telling Africa. you that. But then it was a problem. Not, not a coincidence. Yeah, bro. We were saying that they used the, the craniology to classify them as Negroid, bro. We said that, like, nigga, ain't nobody saying uh, the craniology was was wrong. Like, we're tell we're saying the same shit that nigga they used the craniology to classify them as Negroid. Then after the original study was done and shit, Howard University and Rick Kittles paid millions of fucking dollars to take the fuck over the thing. So, and so then, who, oh, oh, who is, come on, bro, you gotta oh, let yeah. me land like your man Shy said, bro. Come on, yeah, man. Hey, wait, wait, your referee sue that Shy. I need you. Yeah, I thought hey. you was a ref, Sean. <laughs> yeah. My bad, hey, my look. bad, my bad. I was letting y'all get y'all's off real quick. Yeah, yeah. We, need you on, we need bro. you on the ball. Uh, uh, you know. paid. <laughs> he <ain't> paid. <laughs> hey, but look, bro. It's a known fact that they use craniology to classify them as Negroid. It's a known fact that Howard University and Rick, and Rick Hiddles was on the board at the Howard University they pay millions of dollars to take over the studies from there. And what they did was, is they used DNA testing, which was still in its earliest stage and also had smaller sample sizes than they do now when that shit was ran. Because cause at first, bro, all niggas was Ashanti and shit like that, but now everybody is Yorubo and fucking Ebo and Fulani. Y'all y'all ain't noticed that? How niggas went from being a Shanti and shit to no, motherfucking niggas, Europe niggas and fuck, yeah, you got oh, it. Look, so guess what? So I, I'm, I, so I would be Igbo and whatever from Ghana. So it's not that niggas changed. Niggas found out more as as more uh, information came out. But um, look, my question is: you, you keep saying um, these other people did the studies and, and classified as Negro. Who are these other people that did the did this initial study? Hold on one second. I can pull that up real quick. Give me one second. Let me go. Do y'all feel like the updating of information dilutes the, the truth? Well, I believe like, that. Uh, like y'all got a well, problem with updating? Like, do y'all feel like it's just grounds of lying or do y'all feel I like believe, people just I finding out more? System, I believe the system is faulty at best because you're working off a standard and foundation that is that should be questioned in its inception. And that's based off of Eurocentric uh, uh, scientism, uh, scientists. And, and they have been alluding and stacking this information for a, rap, for a long time. And, and it's coming to now updated information is coming to find out a lot of that shit is pseudo. A lot of it ain't even been changed in a lot of the Western mm -hmm. educational mm -hmm. books in the school. You see what I'm saying? So they got shit written in history books that's been in the, 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 the university studies for years and it's bullshit. Mainstream scientists have proved it to be bullshit. And they still mm. teach it. So, yeah, they need a lot more update and they need to rewrite the whole goddamn history. That was all cat, man. No, I ain't no... So if, look, so if you look, so if you look from the New York African burial ground, this is where they tell you uh, where they got the samples from. You got the uh, different parts of the bones and, and the haplogroups that came back. So, so what uh, 
they keep referring to oh that that technology wasn't there yet haplogroup testing technology was there the autosomal testing was not there yet but they they don't understand the difference so it don't matter so and, and it tells you over here where they came from nigga we know the difference about all that shit. nigga we just don't believe everything people that just come up here need to see that they need to see an african and they need to see an indian and they need to see the 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 debate so they could choose a side not a coincidence is a major factor in this community and people don't even know it goofy motherfuckers